All right, as you can see by the title today, we have a fusion to work on. We're gonna be doing a simple headlight, um, not even a headlight, it's actually a running light. I'm pretty sure it's a little 194 bulb. It's in the front left inside edge of the, ball, of the headlight assembly. And they're both the inner bulbs. And all they do is when it sits there, you know, it's like a parking light kind of. Uh, there's an actual name for it, but I can't recall it right now. So let's get started and get the car in here. So in order to do this, I have to pull these headlamp assemblies out of the way. And they are definitely not just going to pop out of there. The inside of the headlight here, it goes about this far, right in this corner of this, which is not a big deal. This could be peeled back. But the bottom side, I believe, yeah, the bottom side, it appears as though it goes about that far below the bumper cover. And being it goes about that far below the bumper cover, I can't pull this forward enough in order to get it to come out of there. Uh, the ball that I need to do inside here. And uh, it's, it's like there's almost enough room. I actually tried it. I could touch the part of the bracketry or, or the, the little bolt holder. I could actually touch it just a little bit. When I tried it before, uh, that side's even tighter, but I couldn't quite get it and I wasn't willing to risk you know, taking it out and then not being able to get it back in. When I didn't have the time to pull this apart. Now the customer has left me the car and I have the time to actually pull this apart properly. Um, so let's get started and get this thing accomplished. I will say first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and attempt to do it by just moving the bumper forward and see if I can't sneak away of getting this out of here. This is the first one of these I've done so we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll see how it goes and uh, maybe if we're lucky I don't have to pull the whole bumper cover off. Start with pulling this little plastic cover. Okay, as you can see, that did not help me much of any. I, uh, there's just a little cold air intake tube or something here, and that's about it. It did not give me access to anything really, except for, actually I don't even think it gave me access to that. Yeah, it didn't even give me access to these screws, so taking this off is a waste of time. But I'm going to leave it out of the way just in case. Alright, I got it. It's a, it's a little squeeze tab type thing. I'll give you a little close up here in a second. Well, not only did I just discover my camera was at high speed, so sorry for the poor graphics of the pre-assembly. Um, I'm going to have to get a different camera. I keep doing that. There's a button that's real close. It's really easy for me to bump by accident. I like having the high speed option, but it's just in the wrong place, so I apologize. But here we are, we have the bulbs in out here. I did sneak it out. What I did was I took the bumper cover, I took it loose all the way across. I took the other headlight loose, which I'm going to do the same thing, attempt the same thing on the other headlight as well. But uh, it is a little squeeze tab right here. A squeeze and you're able to pull it out. You can actually just kind of barely squeeze it pull on the wire a little bit, then squeeze the other side, pull on the wire, and you can get this thing out of there. So uh, now I can go ahead and pull this bulb, replace it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. And I just think I created one hell of a shortcut here, because I'm pretty sure this is over an hour job to do. Uh, I still have to check the book time, but I'm pretty positive this is a, a decent paying job. So I saved myself a lot of time, and I'll actually be able to make a buck on it. So. Not as critical on these bulbs, but 
I made sure I don't have fingerprints on it, just so that I don't prematurely make the bulb fail. There, that's nice. Because of the clear style lens it has, I can push it in without having to I can actually see what I'm doing by looking through the front. Now one thing I did do, is you can see this, this clip right here. When I pulled this bumper, and kinda, I just kind of stretched everything just a little bit. And I was able to get it to rest right on the corner of this, so it's, it's solid right now. And it's not going to fall out, but it gave me just enough room. Um, it was a little bit difficult to get it on there, but just a little tap. Now it's past that, and I can go into its correct position. So it should work fine now. Um, I should probably verify the bulb before I put everything together, huh? Yay! It has lights! You see I'm kind of trying to get as much of the bumper over as I can. And just like that, I got that resting on this. And I can go ahead and pull this cover off. And I should have just enough room to do the job now. This one is still good. But I think it's looking like it's pretty close to first in here. Oh, this one's not good anymore. Oh, it's actually got a broken filament. It's just so close that it must have been touching. There, you see that little break right there? Just a little break in it. Probably me moving it around was just enough to finish it off. It's definitely broken now. It must have been really close. I sure am glad I decided to do both. Now, one thing I do want to make note of is I don't believe that headlight would be changed by doing it this way. Only this side, but you could do both on this side. I don't know why they don't just give you a little extra room to do it, but I just want to make note of that. Now, when you put these bolts back in, this thing is, is able to be moved around. Um, what you want to try and do is make sure you look at all the old marks that are on there. So there's these old marks from where the plastic was before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the same exact position, as close as possible. Alright, how he was just able to see them himself was going like this, hitting the unlock. You can see it turns those on. Yeah, both of them lit up. If I lock it, it'll shut them off. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Okay. So those lights are working. So the car is done. The job is complete. I am going to get it out of here. And uh, hopefully this helps you do your headlights on your 2014 Ford Fusion. So I'm pretty sure all of them with this body style are going to be the same. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Um, if there's something different, it won't be much. So I don't necessarily recommend taking this bumper and pulling on and tugging on it like that. Uh, maybe in 10, 15 years or something, I definitely would not recommend doing something like that because these things might lose flexibility. I don't know what the plastic composition is. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video.